Moses. I'm going to show you how to use the keyboard editor to create patterns in FL Studio. There's more than one way to turn notes on and off in the step sequencer in FL Studio. One way, of course, is to click sequence step buttons in the track, and that turns the notes on and off, but you can't specify the pitch. So that's great for programming drums, but if you want to do a melodic phrase, it's not going to work. So the keyboard editor allows you to add pitch to the notes in the step sequencer. It also allows you to add slide and portamento effects, and I'm going to explain that a little further in the tutorial. And it allows you to quickly drag a whole group of notes up and down the keyboard. So to illustrate this, let's add a channel to our existing project. And I'm going to add Wasp XT. And we're going to use this instrument to create a bass line. So first I need to select the channel. Then I'm going to turn the keyboard editor on by pressing this button. And you'll see a keyboard pops up under the channel I'm working on. For each step in the sequence, there's a corresponding keyboard where I can turn notes on and off. So to turn a note on, you simply left click on the keyboard where you want the note to appear. I'm going to create a simple eighth note pattern. So bright orange indicates that a note is active. If you see this is opaque, that indicates that a note is inactive. Now, you can use the keyboard editor in conjunction with the sequence step buttons. And they work together. So if I were to turn this step on using a sequence step button, you'll see that the inactive note now becomes active. Of course, I can move the note. Let's hit play. And if I clear this note by right clicking, you'll see that it becomes inactive. So these two interfaces for turning notes on and off work together. Let's get back to recording our bass line. I'm going to take this second note and play it an octave up from where it is. And now we have a simple bass line, but it's in the wrong octave. So what I want to do is take this, all these notes at the same time and drag them down two octaves so I can get more in the pitch range of a bass line. So to do this, hold the control key down on your computer keyboard and then left click on any note in the pattern and then drag the pattern down to the desired location. Now we have something that's much more like a bass line. Now I mentioned a few minutes ago slide and portamento and the keyboard editor has something called the slide portamento line, this line right here, and it allows you to turn portamento on for a note. So you left click to turn portamento on and you right click to turn it off. And what portamento is, is when we go from this note to this note, instead of it being two discrete notes, you're going to hear the pitch slide from one to the other. So to illustrate this, I'm going to go another octave up for this note. And then I'm going to turn on portamento. And now you hear it slide. I'm going to slow the tempo down a little bit so you can hear it a little more dramatically. Here at slide, now I'm going to turn it off. Now the note just comes on. So that's portamento. Let's go back to our original tempo. And we'll put our note back down here. Okay, so let's add some rhythm to this track. And I'm going to use the sequence step buttons to do this. I'm going to create a kick drum pattern and hit play. And I'm going to left click and drag to create some hi-hats. Now, I, I mentioned before that you can use the sequence step buttons and the keyboard editor together to turn notes on and off. And you'll see that I just turned on a whole bunch of notes here, a bunch of hi-hats. One of the things I can do to make the hi-hat pattern more interesting is to change the pitch of the notes in the pattern. An easy way to do this is to left click and drag across the keyboard editor and paint the pitches for your hi-hats. And of course, as you can hear, I get real-time feedback on the notes that I'm turning on. So let's check out this pattern now. It sounds a lot more interesting. And it's something that's really cool to just mess around with. Uh, let me draw some other. 
And of course you can right click and turn a few notes off. So as you can see, the keyboard editor allows you to go beyond what you can do by sequencing with just the sequence step buttons. You can add pitch to your notes, you can add portamento, and you can also quickly grab entire groups of notes by hitting your control key on your keyboard and then dragging the pattern up and down in the keyboard.